now the same thing. Now my project is the confectionery of the air. I don't want to know mosquitoes. Millions of people each year die of mosquito-borne diseases. Mosquitoes are the vectors of diseases like dengue fever, yellow fever, and malaria, which just kill so many people each year. Um, in the past, governments around the world have tried to eradicate the mosquito population using um, chemical-based um, pesticides like DDT. DDT was good at controlling the mosquito population, but had many negative adverse effects to our environment. Um, Vivera bastiana is a fungus that's found all over the world. Um, it's a parasitic fungus that infects its host through either eating one of its spores or through um, physical contact with its spores. I wanted to see if I could take mosquitoes and infect them with Vivera bastiana, which has been known with my previous research that it is possible to infect a mosquito with Vivera bastiana. But I wanted to see if that infected mosquito can transmit the infection to other mosquitoes. First thing I did was I raised the mosquitoes in containers kind of like this. As you can see in here, I used I put in the egg cluster of the mosquitoes. This is actually um, 80s Egypti mosquitoes. Once the eggs hatched and they emerged from the water through their whole cycles, I put them in the freezer and then transferred them because I put them in the freezer just so they can go into kind of a forced hibernation type of thing. Then I took a certain amount of them, which was my first trial, I took 30, and I placed them inside of one of these containers. I took two of them and I infected them with Vivera bastiana. You might be asking, how do you infect a mosquito with Vivera bastiana? Well, it's simple. I did it with physical contact. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. This is so this, awesome. What yeah, is this? Is, this is my container where I have all the mosquitoes, and here's where I would infect them. <laughs> Right here. Whoa! I would, dip, I would dip this paintbrush inside of the fungus and I'd paint the fungal spores onto the mosquito. Isn't that amazing? What type of mosquitoes did you use? 80s Egyptians. I've yes. never heard of that. Do you have to go to Egyptian places? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so funny. Nice to see you though. <laughs> the average infection rate out of all the trials I ran was 79.84% which um, supports my hypothesis of 75%, which is good. Um, this is just another way that we can apply the Bastiana into our ecosystem. Um, before, last year, I used it with um, the water sources and infecting the larvae through applying its water sources. This year, I was focusing more on just like basically what you could do is you can have like a bunch of adults and you can infect them with Vera Bassiana and you can release them into certain places and they can infect other mosquitoes. All right, thank you so much for um, coming here and listening to my interview, but I really need to get back to work, so.